Hello, and welcome. Here are ways to become a supporter of the channel. Thank you, and enjoy. Three, two, What's one. a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore? All right, Joe boy, I got one. So, hear me out now. You got soap to wash your ass. Soap to wash your hair. Shampoo. Soap to wash your hands. Soap to wash dishes. And soap to wash your funky ass clothes. So you mean to tell me Dawn this detergent is strong enough to wash oil off of sea animals, fucking ducks and turtles and shit in the ocean. But it can't get the dirt stains off my clothes? Something ain't right. If I start walking around y'all smelling like palm olive, when times get rough and dawn this detergent, you already know what we're hitting for. Do you want to know something? Do you really want to know what's a scam that's so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore? I'll tell you exactly what that scam is. That scam is none other than social media itself. Literally. The amount of dopamine we allow to kick in our brains is so egregious. I just can't even count. More than 83% of people on the internet are active on social media. It's almost like for smokers when they smoke, they have the nicotine that makes them addicted to smoking. That's what I feel like dopamine is to social media. And it's really sad because when I was growing up, you know, I went outside and played with my siblings, you know, on my little scooter or whatever. And even though, yes, yeah, social media was starting to peak, you know, we were still playing outside or we were playing our, you know, PS2 or GameCube or whatever. You know, we didn't worry about the pressures of, you know, Facebook coming up or MySpace or, you know, Google Plus or whatever. It didn't take time away from our regular lives outside of the computer screens. But as I got older, you know, as I went into middle school and high school, you know, more and more of these social media platforms, you know, just started sparking up. And then we just sort of became glued to them. And what's so scammy about social media is that we spend so much time on it to where we start to feel insecure in the real world. I can't tell you the number of pics I've seen of just people, you know, doing all these pretty poses and taking all these pretty pics and they would get all these different likes like, you know, ranging from 300 to about 10K or, you know, 15K likes just because of how pretty they look. But seeing them in real life, you know, you're just like, wait a minute, you're, that's not how you looked in the Instagram photo. Like, are you the same person? And then it makes you feel insecure online because you feel like, oh, well, if I post something regular about, oh, well, maybe I just, you know, got a new job or, you know, I got a new car or, you know, or, you know, I'm working on something really big for myself in my life. Nobody cares about that. You have to be pretty, handsome. You have to be rich and you have to be a celebrity of some sort in order to get all the recognition. It's like on social media, nobody cares about you until you got something good going on with yourself. But at the end of the day, people don't realize that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. There are lots of people on the internet with real life issues that we don't even know about. It's like social media just basically teaches people to put on a facade. It's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. I'm gonna have to go with the term influencers. First off, who determines who or what an influencer is besides some insane numbers on social media? And majority of the influencers are normal people like you and I, normal jobs that glam up their life on social media. It's a huge scam and the credibility that they get is insane. And then the scam within the influencer scam is the sponsorships. So they get tons of sponsorships and then people like us, the little guys are like, wow, this person has millions of followers and they're promoting this thing or this brand and they must be trustworthy because this many other people think that they're trustworthy and it must be a great product because sure enough, if they have millions of followers, they're gonna be promoting good stuff. No, that's a scam too. 
Sometimes they don't even try the products, they just promote them. And guess what? Them promoting those products is putting money in their pocket while our money is getting taken by shitty brands. It's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. Daycares. Now, before anybody comes at me, hear me out. I understand that we live in a society where both parents have to work and you cannot stay home with your child, which is fine. You can't be a stay-at-home parent, which is fine. But you send your child to this daycare where you pay over $500 a week for, and sometimes even more, depending on how many kids you have in the daycare. And not only do you have to provide lunch, sometimes you also have to provide snack. Or you provide snack and we provide lunch, or we provide um, snack and you provide lunch. And not only that, you pay for pizza every single Friday. Depending on where you are, if they do Pizza Friday every Friday, which some of the daycares that I've worked at, we do do Pizza Friday every Friday. You have to provide wipes, you have to provide diapers, you have to provide nap stuff. You're literally just paying for your child to rent the space. For what? For teachers who are overworked, understaffed, and underpaid. Glorified babysitters. It's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. The fact that we pay anywhere from 6 to $10 for a package of fruits, and then we have to go home and take the time out of our day to then wash them and rid them of all the chemicals and the pesticides that were sprayed on them, um, probably not getting them all off in the end, you know, not every single bit. So basically, we are paying top dollar to poison ourselves. It's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. How do I want to say this? America being a democracy. It's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. I'll Buying alcohol on airplanes. I've been a flight attendant for 17 years and when I first started, alcohol was $4 for a beer, wine, liquor, everything. After 17 years, it is now up to $9, $10. Um, and people don't even blink. They don't care. It could be $20. It's the same mini bottles, the same wines. And let me tell you, do not drink beer on a plane because those cans, we ice them down. Then at night, we take the ice off of it. That beer is so skunky. And the wine isn't even that good. It's in plastic bottles, but it's totally a scam. They keep going up on the cost. The snack boxes are a scam. They keep taking things out. Um, and you don't even realize it's a scam because people will pay whatever they want uh, to get drunk on the airplane because they don't care because they want to drink in the sky. So it's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. That your teeth and eyes are not insured with the rest of your body. Are they not attached to my body? Do they not deserve the same insurance? Why? Why have medical insurance, dental insurance, and vision insurance? It's a scam. They want your money. That's all it is. They want your money. Other countries have free health care. We have three different types of insurance for things that are on our body. It's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. Chopsticks. But let me explain. Do you ever find yourself like constantly reapplying chapstick? Because I do. But let me tell you why we do that. Because we get so addicted to the feeling of, you know, the moisture it gives our lips the second we apply it. That once we start to lose that, we, f we think, oh, we need more. Do you know why we need more? Most chapsticks contain some kind of flavor, scent, preservative, whatever. That actually ends up irritating our lips more, so it makes us think our lips are still chapped, so we keep applying, and it becomes this vicious cycle, and that's why your lips never heal properly. And these companies are just making bank. What's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore? The expression time heals all wounds. No, it doesn't. Who said that? And why do we believe it? It's not true at all. You know what happens to people who believe that? Something horrible happens. Maybe a horrible breakup, maybe some traumatic event. And they think, well, okay, time heals all wounds. I just need to plug along. I just need to plow through. I need to go through the motions. Eventually time's going to pass and time is going to work its magic. I'm going to wake up one day all whole and healed and everything will be fine. No, that's not what happens. 
Whatever happened to you becomes wired in. It becomes a part of you unless you deal with it. But we don't deal with it. We think time, just learn, just let time do its thing. It's a part of you. It can manifest as mental health issues, as binge eating, as dissociating, as shutting down emotionally, as self-sabotage in all sorts of horrible ways. You have to deal with the things that have happened to you. Time is not going to do anything, not going to solve anything. Sorry. What's a scam that's become so normalized we don't even realize it's a scam? Those performance enhancing pills that they like sell at gas stations. Um, when I try, well, well, I didn't try it, but my friend tried it. And he said that they were a huge waste of money because he like broke out in hives and he got like a really bad stomach ache. And he had like an accident during his shift at Denny's and, and everybody was like, Oh, what'd you do? And he was just like, oh, I just sat in some chocolate milk, but he didn't. And he had to go home early. And he said it was really embarrassing. And so that's what he just was. He told me that. And I was like, whoa, that's that's crazy. You know, and he's like, well, do you know if there's other ones that would work? Because I only got these at like a 7-Eleven. Is there a different like gas station or convenience store I could go to? So, I, you know, I don't know. And she, you know, what do you think? It's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. I'll changing your name when you get married. I'm sure there's an easier way to go about this in your divorce decree, but at the time, I didn't want to have a different name than my son's when I got divorced three years ago. I have since decided that my baby daddy is... So I want to go back to my maiden name, and I... First of all, the paperwork's a bitch. You got to take it to the court. It's... And this is in Arizona, you know. It's $223 to file. I have to show back up at court, and then I have to go through and change all my IDs and credit cards and everything all over again, just to go back to my maiden name. All of us think that our marriages are not going to end in divorce, but 50% of them do. So, don't change your name. It's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. Cards. Any type of card. Mother's Day card, Father's Day card, anniversary card, birthday card. I literally just went to go buy a card. It was $15. I'm like, hell no, I'm not buying a $15 card. So I went to Dollarama and got a card just as cute for a dollar. $1. $15? Like, that's a whole damn meal! It's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam. Okay, unpopular opinion, but um, schools are a scam. Who actually thinks schools work? Who actually thinks school does your children good? Um, it's basically a factory, a prison slash factory, um, that your children go and have to lose themselves and become like every other kid because if you don't, if you don't listen and if you don't conform and be like every other kid, you get bullied, you get expelled. Like, what? Like, no, don't be yourself. Don't be loud or different or unusual because you're going to get bullied and then you're going to get depression, anxiety, and you're not going to be yourself. So you can't be yourself there because you're not allowed to be. As much as they say they want to nurture you and help you be yourself it's impossible it is impossible as well as good intention as it is it's impossible and you should all unschool your kids homeschool your kids save the children it's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore coming out i don't think we should be coming out i don't think there's like any gay person who should feel like coming out that is the biggest what's a modern day scam that's become normalized and we don't realize it's a scam anymore Free trials that automatically roll over to paid subscriptions. Weddings and every business tied to weddings $30,000 for one day. Fuck that. Hidden fees. Especially in the medical and hospitality industries. Tipping. Not saying you shouldn't tip at all, but how every single Apple checkout tablet automatically assumes you're tipping. I went to get Froyo the other week and the checkout asked me if I preferred a 20, 25, or 30% tip. Like what? I just made my own Froyo and you still want me to give you a 30% tip diamonds there's loads of them but apparently they're rare so sell for major stacks the scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore pet fees at hotels especially dogs 
Like, my dog is literally getting no service that is being provided to her. You're not giving her a bed. You're not giving her water. You're not even giving her food. So how exactly are you justifying paying or charging people that crazy amount of money, which, mind you, can really range from $10 a night to $50, $70 a night, depending on where you're at. Highest that I've seen were in Vegas, $75 a night, not per state, per night. How do you even justify that? And anyone you speak with, it's like, oh, because we need to thoroughly clean the room. You should be thoroughly cleaning the room anyway. Like, you have people that are leaving and other people coming in. Just for sanitary purposes, you should be deep cleaning that room anyway. Don't be using my dog as an excuse to be ripping people off. If anything, what I think is more justified is charge people or have a deposit if you have a pet. Hey, if your pet makes a mess... There is a deposit that you can go ahead and build them if that mess was there. My dog is literally going out to go to the bathroom every single night. And the reason for that is because I don't want her to create a bad habit of going to the bathroom inside of the house. So even if I'm at a hotel, you bet I'm still taking that dog outside every single time. So just taking that $10 or whatever stupid amount that you take to justify it, in my opinion, is extremely stupid do it as a deposit which is refundable instead of just robbing people it's a modern day scam that's become normalized and we don't realize it's a scam anymore not being able to cancel a subscription online i can subscribe in five minutes but i need to call your service agents and i'm forced to be rude to them to cancel it because as long as my voice sounds friendly they try to resell the damn subscription service charge for buying cinema tickets online i've got to pay you to buy something from you buying tech devices for premium prices, then still having to pay subscriptions to make them actually do what they're supposed to do. Raise the price of a product a day before they go on sale so that people think they are getting it at a discount. Credit scores. They started in 1989 and are designed to encourage debt.